I'm Davine Dial and welcome to my workroom. I'm going to show you how to make hats. And they're not going to be just ordinary hats. They're going to be the kind of hats that you could walk into the finest function and be proud to wear. So now let's look at what kind of millinery supplies you're going to need. I have a table set up here with um, a good selection of items. I have a hot plate with an enamel pan and a bamboo steamer top for steaming my hats. Just a regular old iron and then some hand tools. Sewing needles, tailor's chalk, seam rippers, scissors, needle nose pliers, measuring devices. So I've, I've mixed this in with boiling water and let it sit for maybe an hour or so and really uh, get the gelatin mixed in really well. And then I'm just using a sponge brush and just brushing on the surface. I always mark center back with a straight pen and uh, that way I can don't have to think too much about where the center of the hat is. And so I take a piece of Taylor's chalk and mark along center back. So it's good and tight. And then um, just check over it and see what needs to be finished off nicely. Do a nice short cut here. So it's not hanging over. And there it is. And I go into much more detail on how to do bias trim later on in the lesson. And here's the bow that I've made. Here's the back of it. Here's the front with a rose inserted. And there are chapters on the bias trim. So if you want to bounce ahead to that chapter, go ahead. But uh, I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail right now on on making it because it's covered later. I just want to show you how beautifully it's going to trim out this rather easy to make hat. So I'm using a handy little hair clip here to pin my trim right in position right where I want it. Paper that the customer sent me. She gave me a little sketch of the dress that she's wearing and then she gave me some swatches of the fabric that she that she the dress is made of and what I did was I dyed some Dupioni silk to tie in to that color for you can see it's a pretty close match always keep everything nicely trimmed because that's a sign of a good artisan to finish work on the inside and underneath where nobody sees it. That's where you want to really make sure things are finished off nicely. So there you go. Is that just the chicest thing you've ever seen? So this is almost finished. This is a rendition of my departure hat. I usually do this in straw, but this is an order for a gentleman who wants to surprise his wife with a gift but he wanted it done in felt so I'm doing it up in felt form and she's gonna look great in it I know she's gonna be thrilled so let me stitch this bow on and this hat will be well I think that looks pretty good if I do say so myself I'm gonna speak Emil I'm ready for my close-up This is a cut edge cloche style hat with a nice black silk dupioni bow done with a like triple loop. This is a wired edge tailored looking, rather tailored looking hat 
with a wonderful Gorgon bow. This is the bound edge felt hat with feathers. 